Hello YouTube, welcome to another exclusive 1v1 recording. I know that uh, a lot of you enjoyed the last one of these that I did, um, but yeah, do like, do give me uh, feedback on these. Let me know what uh, kind of stuff you'd like to see me record for YouTube uh, that doesn't get streamed over on Twitch. I know some of you guys missed the Twitch chat, some of you guys don't. It's uh, it's all up to personal preference. But anyway, today we are going to be casting three games between apparently Jack and Scrub Killer. Now, um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Scrub Killer has kind of been farming Jack in ranked recently. He has a really good matchup against the uh, the Englishman, even though Jack seems to overall recently do uh, better against the high level one v one competition in the European scene. Um, but it's time to switch over to game number one between these two. Um, like I said before, this will be game one of three uh, between Scrub Killer in the blue and apparently Jack in the orange. That might change going into game two. Uh, but let's see what's going on here. Maybe we can get to the bottom of why Scrub Killer uh, just seems to have such a good matchup against Jack of all people. And that's, you know, not to be expected. Jack goes pretty even with Kaladin ranked. He's the only player who's ever, uh, well, who seems to have any kind of consistency beating Jarius um, after doing it two times. So to see Scrub Killer really dominate him and uh, take away all his ranked points is definitely surprising. Uh, but these are the most recent games that I found on the ballchasing.com website between them. So these are the, the most up to date. Uh, three games that they have played. Now that's obviously just a fake rebound there by Scrub Killer. Apparently, Jack knew that there was really no way Scrub would be going up for that one, so he plays a possession game. But I tuned into, apparently, Jack's stream earlier today, and I wanted his take on it to just find out why Why do you keep losing the Scrub in ranked, and he uh, had one comment on it, and that's that Scrub Killer is the cleanest striker of the ball, which that was actually surprising to me. I, I wasn't sure what he was going to tell me um, as the reason why he loses the Scrub a lot, um, or why he doesn't have a good matchup against him, but I didn't think it would be... Um, ball striking in particular, or just consistency, but obviously Scrub Killer in uh, ranked, especially if he's not streaming, is a really different player. Um, I would say there's there's many different types of Scrub Killer these days. Um, you've got the Scrub Killer, the teammate for 3v3. That's a really good play by Scrub. Jack did not see that ball chase coming, and he didn't see that one coming either. Jack thought uh, Scrub was going to go for a demo on him, but he just went for the long shot. Really good outplay. Uh, but like I was saying, so you've got Scrub Killer, the 3v3 teammate, you've got Scrub Killer, the, the streamer, Scrub Killer, the YouTuber, Scrub Killer, the, the 1v1 ranked player on occasion. And these are all players who play very differently and who um, have different levels of consistency. And that's to be expected from a guy who's trying to build his uh, brand as an entertainer in the Rocket League scene as well as a pro player. Um, and, you know, having that 1v1 legendary background that he sometimes likes to go back to. Now he is currently top 10 in the leaderboard. He, it's not like Scrub is uh, entirely past it in 1v1. Um, and this kind of counter-attacking style is what he's known for. If what Jack told me earlier on in stream is to be true, uh, then it's these kind of touches that are probably surprising Jack. Because one thing Jack does like to do in his 1v1 games, uh, and it's a pretty common strategy, this isn't something unique to Jack, uh, which is something that he does very well, and that is to consistently attack on his opponent. And neither, none of the attacks that he puts in are all-in moves. He'll uh, go for a shot um, from one side, um, and if it doesn't work, he'll steal the boost, turn around and try again, and repeat that process until eventually he gets the ball past his opponent. Now, it's pretty much what he's doing here. He's stolen the boost on one side after not getting a goal. Now he's stolen the boost on the other side after uh, failing to get a goal coming back across. And notice that none of these shots that he's going for are all in, but he is just stealing the boost every single time. And one of the reasons why this doesn't work too well against Scrub Killer is, no, well, number one, Scrub Killer is one of the best defenders with low boost. Um, he, he's very used to that play style. This is, if we go way back to the very beginning of 1v1 competition, exactly what Marky Duda would try and do. He was a very aggressive player. Scrub Killer was a very defensive player. And Marky Duda would love to attack, 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 and eventually score. So Scrub Killer had to get used to playing with very little boost and making all these clutch goal line saves. My goodness, it's frustrating to be Jack in this matchup, clearly. Um, how long was he attacking for there? And after all is said and done, Scrub Killer is the one who gets a goal. So yeah, maybe that's what Jack meant by the consistency of the, the hits that he gets. The one thing that you can expect from Scrub Killer is extremely consistent 
uh, counter-attacking striking. I wouldn't say that his striking of the ball um, at all areas of the field is particularly consistent, but when it comes to counter-attacking, when it comes to long shots off a very quick recovery um, after making a save, Skrubkula is still best in the business at that. That is something that he will always be very good at as far as I'm concerned. Um, and that's given, given, him, given him an almost insurmountable lead now in this matchup. Now, I'm not actually sure if Scrubkiller or Jack were streaming these games when they happen. Maybe one of you guys will know. Uh, but they, these matches were on the BallChasing.com website from um, just last night, actually, the 31st of August. So if either of those guys were streaming in the, in the I think it was kind of like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. UK time, sort of a region last night, then these matches may have actually been streamed. So both of them do stream pretty regularly these days. That's a good try by Jack. He, he has to go for just about everything now. I like that he's turning on this one as well, but it's not going to work because Scrub Killer has just been too quick. Um, and this sort of, you know, very careful, very respectful play um, coming out of Scrub is so reminiscent of what made him a dominant player in the past. Just no, no disrespect to his opponent. He's... Uh, yeah, he's expecting the best out of them at all at all times. And I'm sure he does have a lot of respect for Jack as a 1v1 player, which I think helps Scrub immensely um, in these matchups. One kickoff goal will just quell any thoughts that Jack had that he was going to come back in this game. But solid defensive performance by Scrub. How many saves has he got right now? Just the four. Um, but he didn't really need to make too many goal line saves because his challenge game was on point in the final third. Um, and very often, Scrub would be able to dissuade Jack from shooting just purely by positioning himself perfectly. Yeah, as time ticks down, this, this is the end of the game. Scrub Killer will put one more in for good measure. Uh, there's no coming back from that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, that, since this is a ranked game, to see Jack leave in a position like this. Um, but, you know, sometimes they just play the game out, because why not? Um, I think that they had been playing against each other quite a lot. Um, in this session up until this point. Like I said, Scrub Killer getting the uh, getting a real edge on Jack in those matches. Um, but these three that I'm gonna show to you guys being uh, the most recent of them all. So there's the first one in favor of Scrub Killer and I'm gonna very quickly hide the Rocket League game uh, while I load up the next one so as not to spoil the score line. Um, but yeah, one more shout out by the way to, to uh, Jack for um, put in these games, or for having his replays just auto-uploading to ballchasing.com. It's really cool that, uh, you know, he does that so that uh, we can go and watch them in our own time and see what's, what he's getting up to. Extremely interesting player to watch and stylistically doesn't seem to do too well against Scrub Killer, at least currently, but I don't think that's, uh, that means he's always going to have a bad matchup against Scrub. Maybe. He'll be able to figure out a way um, to either attack more, so this maybe a bit more risk involved in his game, or just to take a more defensive approach and let Scrub come come at him. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what Jack decides to do. He's not been hard grinding one v one. I don't think. Well, neither of these guys have because they've both been uh, playing RLCSX. Uh, Jack's team did not make it into the second regional. Scrubs did. Um, so look out for both of them, maybe, later on in the year, making uh, an appearance at the first Rocket League major for um, this split of the competition. I personally have been having a great time with the new Rocket League Championship Series split uh, format and all the games and all the new teams and all the new players that have been making appearances therein. Uh, but yeah, you guys let me know in the comments how, how uh, well, what your thoughts are on this season, um, the RLCS Season X in comparison to the previous ones. I know it won't be for everybody, but for me certainly this is a big step in the right direction. That's a beautiful recovery by Jack. Needed to be extremely careful there. Now, Scrub's pre-flipping in a position. That's really efficient play. Uh, something that I was criticizing of Scrub Killer during the Salt Mine 2 was his uh, lack of um, efficiency with his boost management. You could see that particularly against uh, Fairy Peak when they played. Fairy just destroyed him. Or was that in... That was in Fusion, sorry, that they played, but it ran all the way into Salt Mine 2 as well. Wow. Okay, Scrub Killer with a brilliant shot there. 
That is really quick, actually. Jack had no idea that Scrub was going to try and attack him there. I mean, he knew that Scrub was going to try and disrupt him. Uh, but to actually go for the goal in that position shows real confidence. And quite clearly, Scrub's movement and his efficiency is elevated significantly. And it needed to, because you can't play this style, this reactive style that he's been going for um, in these games, unless you do have the ability to keep up with your opponent in positions where they have more boost. Now, Jack can do that. We all know that he can wave dash like no other. Um, but Scrub Killer recently hasn't really shown us too much of that. It was very much, as, at least in Salt Mine 2 qualifiers, it was either Scrub would assert dominance mechanically and win, or he would kind of get stuck in a matchup where he's not able to do that and look a bit awkward and out of place. Uh, funnily enough, I saw Scrub Killer playing against Fairy Peak recently. Um, I think it was on Fairy Peak stream, and that was uh, just another ranked 1v1. I don't have the replay for that one. But what I can tell you is that the matchup there looks just exactly the same as it always did. And I wonder how much of that is mental, um, maybe a little bit, and how much of that is just purely stylistic countering. Fairy Peak, of course, has always had a good matchup against Scrub Killer. Historically, and also in their most recent series that they played. Um, and, you know, Jack actually beat Fairy Peak in two of the three games they played in Fusion before losing to Alpha. It's, it's very interesting. I feel like in Rocket League 1v1, we get a lot more of that kind of counter matchup style occurring. This is beautiful by Scrub. Such concise play, very confident on the turn. And I don't think I've seen him miss any of these open nets yet. This is just brutal. I mean, if, if he had, in this session, been stealing all of Jack's rank points, that would be one cause for playing this confidently. Good recovery there by Jack. It looked like he might be out of position. Oh, wow. The scrub killer stripped him up, though, and he's going to run away with the ball as well. It has been a nightmare of a matchup, at least in the games that we've seen. Uh, you know, I didn't watch these games before um, showing them to you. I, I had no idea how Scrub was going to be dismantling Jack. Um, uh, because that's obviously what was happening in the games that they played before this and um, what's happening now. But wow, I didn't think it would be anything like this. I imagine that there would be more of Jack misplaying and Scrub Killer just um, collecting free goals, but it has not been that. Jack is, isn't really doing much wrong. He's playing his game, he's trying to get his offense going, and Scrub Killer is just reading his mind, challenging him on every single ball with effectiveness, and then counter-attacking before Jack can recover. Stunning stuff, um, to, to be exact. And now finally, Jack will get one goal back in the game, but this doesn't look any more winnable than the last game did. Scrub Killer sublime in this matchup, and I want, I'd love to see Scrub Killer play the series against um, a player like Khaled. I'd love to see him play a series against a player like Jory. Is we, we uh, you know, saw a lot of Scrub Killer versus. Um, new players in the Salt Mine 2 qualifiers, players that he uh, wasn't able to perform very well against because I, I think, well, he admitted this himself, he just didn't respect them as opponents and that was one of his weaknesses in, the, in that tournament because he just didn't give his opponents the respect that they deserved and the respect that you need to give opponents in 1v1 in order to be successful against them. Um, and yeah, obviously we, we saw him lose to Alpha as well, but that's another, that, that is a matchup that we've seen before. But, there, you know, these new kids in the block, the apparently Jacks. Uh, the jury is of these uh, of this world. These are players uh, we haven't actually seen play against Scrub in a series before, as far as I'm aware. And it is really cool to see him still be able to do his thing and show that his play style, his mastery of the game mode, is just as uh, impressive now as it ever was. I, I'm pretty sure that Scrub has a reasonable matchup against Khaled, um, or at least that's what I've heard him say. That's what he's told me. Yeah, soon we'll have the start of the new season, and I'm sure there will be plenty of these guys making a mad dash to rank one in the ladder, seeing what new um, what new ratings can be reached um, in the next season. So that's two games in a row for Scrub. And forgive me for not really doing a lot of play-by-play -play in these games, but these games did not need play-by-play. -play. They were just utterly dominant um, for Scrub Killer. He was running rings around Jack in every um, part of the field. But here we go. This is the third game now. Um, at the end of a session where 
Scrub Killer has stolen a lot of Jack's rank points. Apologies, let me just um, minimize my recording software so we don't get some frame drops. I'm going to pause that. Okay, there we go. Good try there by Jack at the start, but unfortunately for him, it's going to be the same outcome as most of the shots that he's gone for in the other two games. Scrub Killer on the counter attack, putting it in. And Scrub is in the orange team, of course, uh, for this game. It's just ranked, so they can be switching game to game. Oh, that was a chance for Jack. He didn't realize that Scrub was going to leave that one. Just drive into the back corner. It's good, efficient play by Scrub again. Oh, wow, he's actually got it past him. 2-0. Scrub killer looking fantastic once again. Great to see him really hone in on that weakness that he's had recently. The fact that he's been wasting a lot of boost and maybe trying to play a bit too quickly um, instead of playing with uh, care and caution. This is a totally different scrub. Good demo by Jack. That was necessary as well. Oh, it looks like you can't actually change player. Did they both? I think they might have both been demoed there. <laughs> Were they both demoed? <laughs> I'm not going to rewind because I know you guys just want to see this uh, game all the way through with no pauses. But I tried to switch player there um, using the hotkey and nothing happened. So they, I think they were both actually dead in that play. Nice bump by Jack. That turn is fast enough. Very curious to see if Jack's going to change up his style in this, uh, in this game. There's really only two options for him, like I said earlier. You can either start going for um, more all-in plays that are harder to defend. Obviously harder to score, but... When something's harder to score, it's usually harder to defend. That's beautiful volley. Scrub Killer thought Jack was going to wait for the bounce there, but he just cracked it. Very nice shot. Um, but yeah, Jack can also play a pretty good defensive game um, as well. The fact that this is ranked, though, makes me think that he's just going to keep on trying to figure out how to get goals on Scrub Killer. Oh, what a save! Jack with a double touch off the inside of the post. Scrub Killer's flip reset was... Pretty impressive. Scrubkiller's positioning here has been fantastic. No opening there for Jack to work with. Jack is going to continue to trip up Scrubkiller on the landings, though. That's a bit of a giveaway. Jack won't be happy with that one. Scrubkiller's had an easy enough time dispossessing him as it is. Never mind when Jack's giving the ball away. Look at that bump by Scrub. And uh, I think that's in. Jack can't reach it. 3-2. The combination of this new efficient scrub killer that we're seeing, um, with it, it fits his playstyle so perfectly. The counter attacks are more available when you do have more boosts at your disposal on average. That was a good try, but not good enough. Scrub really should be scoring that though. He might yet, because Jack is just charging in. And Scrub has not given any Jack any chances. He's predicting every single one of these ball chase challenges. Now he's going to try and score in reverse. Actually, air rolls around. Not a bad try again. Very far off the wall there. Not enough power on the shot. Beautiful air dribble by Jack. But Scrub's even going to save that one. Is he counterattacking as well? You bet he is. If that ball sat up a bit nicer for Scrub, he probably would have had a goal out of it, but he's missed the boost now. Jack has an open net. Uh, that will go in. Scrub Killer was trying to feather his boost and get any kind of contact on it, but a couple of misplays have actually cost him. Not only an opportunity to score into Jack's goal for the, the three-goal lead, but given Jack an opportunity to make it a one-goal game. And that's a pretty big difference in uh, 1v1. I guess it would be an even bigger difference in another game mode, but you don't really get those two goal swings where one team, one player misses and immediately gets scored on. Yes, it does happen. Another good save by Jack there. Wow, he didn't have any boost left either. Perfect uh, save, really. Scrub Killer forced it back off. That's a careless possession play by the Scott. And once more, Jack is going to keep trying to trip him up. Interesting that he's been prioritizing the disruption of Scrub Killer's landings rather than uh, full-on demo plays. Now, Jack knows this is probably an uncontested aerial. That won't be because the back wall gives Scrub the elevation that he needs to challenge the ball. Oh, it's not ideal for Jack. He, would, he really wanted to either dribble that into the back corner so he could grab boost and then 
get a dribble going. Very nice demo. Bit fortunate, but you'll take it. Lovely line of attack, though, by Jack on the counter. Scrub's not going to save that one. Jack with a crossover. He's given himself a phenomenal angle of attack and equalizes. This is easily the closest game yet. And Jack has been sneaking in those trips very to great effect. That's been the outstanding thing for me on his part. But you've also got to notice that Scrub Killer's consistency, his uh, conversion rate on these counters has not been as effective. Jack's just own gold. <laughs> I mean, it was probably going in anyway, but that's a comical pop that he sent that ball into his net with. Scrub still stealing all of Jack's rank points, it would seem. Still credit to Jack, he didn't stop queuing. Not dodging, and that's a beautiful shot. That's what we talked about earlier. If you can't get many goals in your opponent, well, you might have to increase the shot difficulty, the shot quality. Jack has absolutely done that. Under pressure as well. Down a goal. You missed that. It's down two goals. Now Scrubs missed the ball. And, you know, these type of plays where Scrub Killer just flops past the ball, they were something that I had to get used to while casting Assault Mine 2 games. Oh, wow. Jack's just giving him a kickoff. Wow. No way. So Scrub Killer must have lagged, and Jack just gives him the goal back. That's great sportsmanship by Jack. I had no idea that that happened in this game. Wow. Pretty bad server by the looks of things. The server has just gone to complete rubbish. But Jack won't leave anything up to chance on this one. He gave Scrub a goal back for the whiff caused by lag, but he's still going to air dribble over the top of him. Oh my goodness, the end of this game though. This <laughs> it looks like the server's really falling to pieces. I don't know if Scrub's going to be able to do anything from that position. Good finish by Jack. And I, I think he'd, he, 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 fair enough, he deserves this one. That was a great show of sportsmanship to give up his one goal lead. Um, and then off a couple of strong kickoffs, he was able to get the game win um, at the end of this. Pretty horrendous rank session for him. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know how many games they, these guys played today or after they were done playing against each other yesterday, but Scrub's almost at 1,700 in 1v1 now, uh, which is pretty high. Um, I think he was... Yeah, it's, it's quite high compared to where he was uh, last time I saw him, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, he's overtaken Jack, who was one of those players uh, fighting um, for the top spot, trying to race Khaled to 1,800 before Khaled just went on an absolute storm uh, all the way up there. Khaled still hasn't played a game since he got 1,800. He's just waiting for the end of the season. <laughs> he just wants uh, to wait for the end of that season that he's going to get back on that uh, 1v1 grind. But yeah, Scrub Killer, great farm. Uh, up until the... Well, I, I thought it was just a, a whiff, but actually it was lag. Up until uh, the server fell apart, it, it really looks like he's found um, consistency in his play once again, which is great to see. Uh, that's just, that's the kind of consistency and efficient play that I have not seen from him in a long time. Uh, that combination of constantly threatening counterattacks. Uh, yeah, Jack just doesn't... I guess he just doesn't have the, the confidence yet to up his shot quality, his the difficulty to save his shots to the point where Scrub won't be comfortable. Because Scrub's goalkeeping is obviously above uh, most of the players around this rank who are all attack, attack, attack. Let's just ch ball chase. Let's just challenge everything. Uh, Jack's great against that because he, he loves to make early flick out plays. Um, but yeah, uh, again, shout out to Jack for leaving his uh, auto upload on. Um, so we can look at these games. Really interesting. Awesome show of sportsmanship by him at the end as well. Be sure to check him out on Twitch. He streams all the time. And Scrub Killer as well. You guys uh, can find him on Twitch and YouTube these days. So be sure to give him some love and uh, some credit where it's due. He's definitely looking in great form for 1v1. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little mini-series from Ranked. Um, those are some really interesting games for me, obviously, uh, casting Scrub Killer for years and years now. Really cool to see that he's still at that level, um, and Jack as well. Just one of the one of the most exciting players to watch in the Rocket League world right now. Uh, so definitely can't get enough of their games. But that's it for this one. Um, if there's any other players that you would like to see me do this for, well, you're gonna have to go and tell them to turn on their auto, their replay auto upload or, or send me the replays, because uh, really, apart from Jack, not many people are doing this. I think Dead Monster might be doing this. Uh, I'm not sure who else, but yeah, there there aren't too many players who upload their replays automatically. They're they're ranked replays, uh, probably uh, for fear of getting an embarrassing one. <laughs> spotted uh, by the masses 
But yeah, this has been fun. Hopefully, uh, you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Um, and yeah, back to grid streams later in the week. Looking forward to that as well. Uh, be sure to check them out on Thursday and Friday. But yeah, for now, guys, thanks for watching and take care.